Good morning and welcome to the ninth day in the season of Lent. Bienvenidos al día nueve de esta temporada de cuaresma de 2023. Well, I don't know if you've ever had the experience talking with someone and you realize after talking for a few minutes that they have no idea what you're saying. They haven't heard a single word you said. No sé si les ha pasado. A veces hablando con alguien, a veces un ser querido y, y después de hablar un ratito, es obvio que no han entendido nada de lo que has dicho. Um, or if you're married, as a male in my case, I've experienced many times watching my wife's mouth move, but not understanding the words that are coming out of her mouth. A veces los maridos también eh, escuchamos nuestra, nuestra uh, esposa hablando y, y no entendemos las palabras que sale de su boca. This is uh, very natural, but we are also very rational creatures and we want to understand things as much as we can. Somos eh, animales muy racionales y queremos entender las cosas lo mejor que podemos. But we have to be honest there are some things we can't understand, and that has to be okay with us. A veces hay que entender que hay cosas que no podemos entender, y eso tiene que estar bien para nosotros. Tiene que ser suficiente para nosotros. In the scripture we're looking at today from John's Gospel, chapter 13, uh, Jesus is explaining to the disciples at the end of the supper, the night before he's betrayed, or actually the night in which he's betrayed, he's trying to explain to the disciples what's about to happen, but it says they didn't understand what he was talking about. En, en Juan 13, versículo 18 a 30, encontramos al Señor Jesús hablando con sus discípulos sobre unas cosas que están al punto de suceder, pero ellos no entienden de qué está hablando el Señor. And Jesus was very patient, always in his ministry with people who didn't understand, especially in John's gospel. We see Jesus talking with lots of people who obviously don't understand what he's saying. And sometimes he says to them, you don't understand now, but the time will come when you can understand. Eh, vemos muchas veces en el Evangelio de Juan que el Señor Jesucristo tiene mucha paciencia con personas que realmente no entienden sus palabras. A veces el Señor dice, ahora no puedes entender, pero en el futuro, al rato, va a venir el tiempo en que sí entiendes lo que te estoy diciendo ahora. And so we have to face um, our belief in, in Christ and in God with that kind of faith. When we find the things in our faith that we don't understand, sometimes it might be necessary to just say, well, I don't understand but I know sometime in the future, maybe I will understand, and that's okay. A veces en nuestra fe, eh, tenemos que encontrar esa situación de cosas, enseñanzas que no podemos entender fácilmente, pero tenemos que poder decir a nosotros mismos, ahora no entiendo, pero yo creo que al rato voy a entender. So today our fast is fasting from rationalizing everything. Try to read the scriptures in a way where you don't try to figure it out scientifically or um, put it into the modern framework, 21st century translation, but just try to experience it for what it is. Nuestro ayuno de hoy es de racionalizar las cosas. Vamos a dejar un tiempo de racionalizar quizás cuando estamos leyendo la escritura de hoy, eh, no lo tratamos de entender lógicamente, no lo tratemos de, de poner en nuestra situación de hoy, sino nada más experimentarlo. So this is something uh, to do when you run into things you don't understand. Maybe take a step back and say, I don't understand this, but that's okay. And I'll just sit with it for a while. Maybe I can understand it later. A veces um, quizás es necesario cuando estamos leyendo la Biblia, llegar a un momento a decir, yo no entiendo esta parte, pero está bien, yo lo voy a dejar así, quizás al rato no entiendo. I'm going to pray for all of us as we close. Voy a orar para terminar el estudio de hoy. 
Gracious God, um, we thank you for giving us minds and educations and, and intelligence. And we just ask that you would give us also wisdom for those times when your, your will, your word, your presence, your activity transcends our understanding, our ability to comprehend. Te damos gracias por la inteligencia que nos has dado, Señor, por eh, los estudios, inteligencia, pero ayúdanos a reconocer que a veces tu realidad, tu trabajo, tu actividad va más allá de nuestra capacidad de entender. Help us to accept your presence and, and to trust in you that you are in the midst of even the things we don't understand. Ayúdanos a, a confiar en ti y, y saber por medio de la fe que tú estás en medio aún de las cosas que no entendemos. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Oramos en el nombre de Cristo Jesús. Amen. I hope you all have a blessed day.